Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today, I thought I could film another what I eat in the day video and also share how I'm currently training and also give you some tips on how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time later on in this video. First things first, I'm just gonna have my greens before I make my coffee and we're gonna go and train upper body, which I'm super happy about because I feel like my last few videos have been lower body sessions and yeah, thought we could train together. I've been cooking a lot more from home as well recently, so it'd be nice to share some of my current favorite recipes one of which has been my obsession it's this six minute air fryer protein brownie slash pudding it's the gooeyest thing and you're gonna love it i want to show you my gym outfit but the insert you know the breast insert has somehow made its way up to this next strap i tried out this new brand called oisho which i've never heard of before and i don't know why because i'm loving it but it's like this little crossover top i don't know how i'm gonna pull this in I just need to pull it all the way back down. And then I got these sort of biker shorts. I don't know whether to pull them up. I do prefer like a shorter short, but I quite like the fit. And it's like a Lululemon buttery soft kind of fabric. day had the best upper body session there was the cutest guy in the gym that was just vibing and dancing around the gym and i just love to see that i also had the strangest cramp which i've never experienced in my bicep and i had to sit down and i was like what is going on in my body right now whenever i get like a new sensation i do feel like i panic but i really was working my shoulders i got a really nice pump but yeah, I'm gonna make some creamy protein oats. They're kind of like apple pie oats, but I'm basically gonna air fry some apple and make my oats. And I put it with like this yogurt thing. It's so nice. You've got to try it. It's really tasty. Right, we're gonna start by choppity choppadin half an apple. I love Granny Smith apples. These have been my favorite apples since literally school program days. I use this air fryer for flipping everything. Olive oil spray. Dash of maple syrup. I would normally put cinnamon, but I can't locate the cinnamon. Oh my God, there was a little bit of mold, I think, in that maple syrup. I've just had to throw that out. It was a tiny spit, so I'm not gonna, I'll be fine. Oh my God. This is heartbreaking. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of oats, my oat jar. Mason must have finished it this morning, but not to worry. I'm just gonna make wheat bix Very similar to how I make my oats, but just with wheat bix instead. Still very, very nice. Two and a half wheat bix 125 grams of milk. Mash this up. Add a little bit of water. Stay with me now. Just exactly like you'd make your oats. I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave. Once that's microwaved, add 25 grams of chocolate protein. Kind of looks like really small oats at this point, doesn't it? Very voluminous as well. And some mixed berries, and I'm just gonna microwave all of them. Some low fat yogurt here. The apple, banana, oh, nana. Oh, these are just so fun to assemble. I just love these oat rolls so, so much. Mixed berries a drizzle of honey, a little bit of powdered peanut butter. And there we have it. So chocolate or Weetabix protein bowl. Oh, I'm not being funny. This just smells unreal. Ooh, yum. 
with this, you actually get more volume than oats. Oh, it tastes like comfort food. Can I just say that wheat bit? Oh, I can't speak today. Can I just say that wheat bit break? That wheat bit breakfast was just dreamy and now i'm gonna make a stunning stunning protein coffee before my third therapy session which i want to talk to you more about but i don't know if you're gonna to want to hear about that in my what eat in the day video but i do feel like i have lots to mention i actually get a little bit nervous before these sessions and it's taken me a while to actually get around to it but I'm loving it at the same time. But yeah, let me show you. It's a bit weird, isn't it, to have a coffee before a therapy session. I'm not gonna drink it all at once because I'll be like buzzing for this therapy session where I usually seem to cry at the moment. So yeah, I'm just taking my espresso, I'll show you. I'm gonna take this very cute shot glass. Oh, what is that inside it? I think that's peanut butter. That I use for everything, pre-workout, coffee, just the lot. I love this machine the electric thing it does. The suspense of waiting for the coffee to come out. So that much coffee, you could just use instant coffee if you've not got a machine, it'd work just the same. A handful of ice, pour the coffee in low fat milk, filling up about half, like that kind of much, that's 205 grams. Some chocolate protein. You could also use like a vanilla or white chocolate flavor. This is the bulk crunch in chocolate cookies. I'll leave my link down below. Put a scoop in there. In my cheeky little mixer. This gets so much use, you know. They're like two or three pounds off Amazon and just worth every single penny. And this is where the magic happens. Are you ready for this? Like, look how frothy and stunning that is. The froth on top, you don't even need a blender for this. It's super quick. Oh, that sound. Oh, this is so nice. If you're not a big protein fan, but you love coffee, then this combo will change everything for you. Just had a call and also had my therapy session. I didn't cry today, so that's different the last few sessions I've had. And I thought I could make my favorite lunch recipe that has been on repeat, which is my chicken gyros. I've just added them to my app, Live and Lift, where I also add a lot of my recipes. If you ever want to find like an old recipe, it includes all the ingredients and macros on there, but I haven't shared this with you yet on here. And you're going to love it. It's completely homemade. We make the actual, not pitta, but the flatbread and everything. It's high protein and just Chef's kiss, so tasty. Start by making the chicken marinade first. So just take a bowl and measure out 100 grams of yogurt. You could use Greek or normal yogurt. I've just got a standard low fat one. Juice of one lemon. Oh, this is juicy. And then if you drop any pips, just pick them out. Teaspoon of coriander powder, cumin powder, some paprika, pink salt, one and a half chopped garlic clove, a little bit of coriander. Mix that all up. Then I'm just taking this big whopper of a chicken breast and another half chicken breast using my scissors as this is just a lot quicker. And then I'm just gonna set this aside to marinate. I'm gonna make the tozaki, I can't, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but the garlicky sauce. 80 grams of yogurt again. How cute is this little ramekin? Teeny, but it's perfect size for like a sauce. So we're gonna grate half a cucumber, a clove of garlic, half a lemon juice, and then I'm using thyme, but you could use dill or just some nice herbs, a little bit of garlic and chili. You could also put it on a kebab, but grilled chicken just tastes so good and doesn't take very long at all. Just flip these on the other side. About five minutes in, it only takes 11 or 12 minutes or so. And for the flatbread, I'm just gonna measure out 60 grams of flour, 50 grams of yogurt. You might wanna start with a little bit of yogurt and see how thick it gets because each yogurt might be slightly different consistency-wise. About a teaspoon of baking powder, some pink salt. Could also use self-raising flour and just not add the baking powder instead of normal flour, just whatever you've got in the cupboard. And then just take a rolling pin. You don't have to make your own flatbread. If you've got one in the freezer, I normally store like a pitta or something in the freezer. But if you fancy being creative and you've got a little bit more time, why am I carrying this like a baton? <laughs> On a high heat, this baby is going 
about a minute or two on each side and then just flip it. Add a little bit of parsley as well. Ah! And now to assemble it. to show this. Oh, I think I've overfilled it with chicken. Mm, mm, mm. I thought I could sit down and talk through a bit about body recomposition and what I found has worked best for me and how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. First thing I wanted to say is this is a slower process. It's, we're in it for the long game. It's not a quick fix or a quick fad and it does take a bit of testing. Obviously we all might train slightly different and have different lifestyles. So it's not a one size fits all. First and probably the most important thing is making sure you're getting enough protein, looking at how much protein you're having daily, I noticed the biggest difference in my overall composition when I increased my protein intake. For a while, I wasn't eating enough protein a day to day. I didn't really realize, to be honest. And then when I increased that and followed a progressive strength training program, I noticed when even when I was at about maintenance, I'd seen some body composition changes. Without eating enough protein daily, your body will struggle to repair the muscle tissues that are broken down from strength training. There's also been some research that shows if you're in a calorie deficit and and you're eating more protein than you normally would, then that can help preserve lean muscle mass. In terms of my personal macros and calories is looking more on a weekly basis rather than having the same calories for each day of the week. Because what I was finding was, say if I've done an intense lifting session, I'd be hungrier on that day, but then on my rest day, I wouldn't be as hungry. And as well with my running, so say if I've burnt a thousand calories on a run, and if I was eating my same sort of either maintenance or deficit calories, I would end up losing in not only fat but muscle tissue as well so on my longer running days I'll always make sure I'm in a surplus and make sure I've eaten those calories back and if I want to lose a little bit of fat during a certain time I'll eat slightly less that I'm in a small deficit of like five to sort of ten percent and then on my strength training days I always really focus on my protein intake and making sure that I'm between sort of five to fifteen percent above my maintenance of course it depends on your personal goals and how much muscle you're wanting to put on as quickly but I like to just do things quite gradually and slowly. I just find this way I can look at my macros and calories on a week by week basis rather than having the sort of up and down of like each day and I think it's more realistic that way than trying to reach the exact same calorie intake each day when of course our hunger levels do change and it always depends on how you're training and what your style of training is as well. sunset walk. I've got some steps to get. I've been aiming to get at least 10,000 a day and oh it's really windy actually. It feels so fresh but Nathan's mum's over at the minute so oh god I've had her fall down. Oh it's choppy out!
here is what I'm having for dinner. So, tried out this new strip loin, I think, strip loin steak. It's super lean and I've got some labna. It's kind of like a cream cheese, it reminds me of, but I've been really liking that. And then I've got a beetroot salad, some sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna get some ketchup and Mason, his mum here. So we're just watching a movie in the other room and gonna have a cute little evening. I'm gonna make some more, maybe more salad or steak or something. But yeah, super quick and easy. And yeah, I just love doing this in the air fryer. It doesn't take long at all. I air fried the steak for six minutes. Actually, the next day, I was just chilling last night with Mason, his mum. I forgot to finish off the video. She's now left, which I'm really sad about. Um, but something else that's cheered me up is I've just been finalising my new programme, Strong and Fit, which is launching the 3rd of April. I've added loads of new recipes to my app and also it's a new programme in eight weeks. It's got like two blocks. I'll explain more in my full week of workouts, which will be the next video. After this, I'm just so, so excited. Um, so that's not long away now and yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it this far i would love you to stick around and join the family by subscribing oh that was aggressive subscribing and if you could make sure you've liked this video it is so appreciated from the bottom of my heart it really just helps and supports my channel and i'll see you in the next video